You know what we gonna do? What the fuck are you talking about, Dunn? What are you Grand talking about? Is available <laughs> to to Grand Central. Shut your candy ass up! You can't stop me! Come on. Get the f*** out of here, niggas. You niggas think it is a game, huh? They got some f***ing joke? Ain't no fighting scenes. Like Man of Steel, bro. I ain't see it And clear of the closing doors, please. Hey, what's going on, you bitch ass niggas? You, you bitch made ass bitches? You, you real ass niggas and you real ass bitches? Uh, it's cracking eight. You're back. So 113. Episode 113, bitch. You whore. You slut. Come guzzling bitch. Shout out to all the funky bitches out there, man. Shout out to all the big booty bitches out there. The podcast. And they ass think the podcast. <laughs> Crack in the eighties, aka a Sean Paul and Sasha. Come sing for me, baby. Be be. You made me, and it really made me. I can't take. Yo, imagine if reggae songs, if every reggae song you love, like this, pick a Sean Paul song. That one, for instance, I'm still in love. Imagine that song, but with an Indian accent. Might be some fire shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Or, or, or a record like Carlos Santana, Maria, Maria, but with an Indian accent. <sighs> I might be on to something, man. I'm just saying. I got ideas, niggas. Like, <laughs> I got ideas, man. You had some curry this morning? I wish I had some curry. Nah, man. I actually had some chicken nuggets. Get all this Indian love come from just now. That was random. Shout out to India, man. South India. I was watching it, where it probably came from is I seen a a reel that said substitute T with D equals Indian. <laughs> so like a sentence like don't touch me. Don't touch me. <laughs> don't touch me, Bobby. Just separate. Just substitute any T word or any any sentence or any word that has the letter T in it with a D, and this equals Indian. It's kind of, you know I mean, it's kind of racist, but it's kind of cool and accurate too. You know what I'm saying the podcast. Chit 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 chit. We back, fellas. Episode one thirteen, season three. I mean, we moving along. Summertime is officially not officially on the calendar, but it's officially here because it's hot as fuck. I mean, it's hot. It's been, it been hot in Pennsylvania. Let me tell you something right now. Hot Pennsylvania got... Pennsylvania got motherfucking... Hot motherfucking... Cold motherfucking winters and hot motherfucking uh, summers. I'll tell you that much. Hey, I get everything, huh? Get a whole whole smorgasbord of shit. Yeah, it's hot, man. It's been hot in, obviously, the South Texas, niggas. Heat out this motherfucker, but it's it's hot, hot. Hot, hot for real. I don't know what's the what is it about hurricanes and heavy rain that brings hot weather? Science, science word. Science. Neil deGrasse Tyson. Whenever you come on the pod, you know you're gonna be on here soon, and we know you're listening. Come, come on the pod and tell us about science, bro. <laughs> They're gonna say a whole monologue about some shit. Number reply, nigga, you lying? <laughs> nigga, that's cap. <laughs> Fake cap. shit. <laughs> cap. He show you science. He's gonna show you scientific journals, a bunch of research, and that's cap. <laughs> <laughs> that's cap, man. You know that's that nigga cap, Gerald. Man. You don't know shit, man. You a dumbass, my nigga. <laughs> that nigga Gerald be lying, bro. Gerald <laughs> told me he was gonna write this and give it to you, and it was all cap. <laughs> Fuck wrong with you, man. Bill Nye, the science guy, or Neil deGrasse Tyson? Bill Nye, nigga. That nigga don't be trying to like tell niggas about like the, the aliens and shit like it. You know, he just do regular science, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Blue, blue and red makes purple, my nigga. Facts, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Talk. Now, facts, facts. Bill keep it G, he keep it real regular. Keep it real, you know my saying? nigga. Ain't nobody trying to figure out what's going on. Nigga, I ain't never going to see Antarctica in my life, nigga. I don't want to know about it, my nigga. Shut up, my nigga. Bill, Bill, I mean. Bill now on the other end? You feel what I'm saying? Neil deGrasse, you mean? Yeah, no, I'm saying that's what Neil deGrasse say. Oh, about, oh. Uh, in all the cuts like that. Bill now, my nigga, that nigga might say, nigga, you pour water on your TV, it might break, my nigga. 
Now, facts. He keep real science, real. my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Elements mm-hmm. and shit like that. You know what I mean? Don't start off. Don't start a kitchen fire. It's dangerous. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Bill, now, well, you know, fire was started by the uh, cavemen when the dinosaurs farted. And they're, nigga, shut up, nigga. Shut up, my nigga. Bill. 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 Neil deGrasse ain't got no theme music. I think that's where he went wrong. Like, seemed like a cool brother, you know what I mean? For what it's worth, for what we see of him. But he ain't, ain't cool. got no theme music, though. He ain't got no aura, my nigga. He ain't got no theme music, is Word. what I'm saying. It's, ain't got no music rest. changes a lot, man. Yeah, it does. Music changes a whole lot. From Bill, Bill's not a type of nigga to mix green and yellow and then say, I got a new color, Jamaica. <laughs> nah, he gonna say I got a new color, bumba clock. Bumba clock, right? Rare, you know, real nigga. You know, we fuck with, we fuck with Bill now. Nah. The Neil deGrasse Tyson, that nigga dropped like 2009, didn't he? Drop like in 2009 or something. He he, maybe in terms of, you know, what I mean mainstream. Yeah, mainstream. And he dropped like 2009, 2010. Yeah, yeah, niggas on, been man. fucking with Bill for since the 90s, my nigga. Since the 90s, real talk. You feel what I'm saying? Come Bill on. had a fucking resurgence. You know what I mean? He he was popping. He went away. You know what I mean? He did a little bid. Hiatus. Nigga came back. Boom. Netflix show. Pow. Bill. 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 Bill Nye, the science guy. That's hard. I wonder who wrote that shit. You think he wrote it himself? Probably. You think nigga that nigga Bill... Writers. You think he ain't got no ghostwriters? Nah, he ain't got no ghostwriters. Damn. He tapped in with the streets. I ain't gonna lie. Let me see. Think he got his masters? Yeah, probably. Bill Nye, the science guy. Let's see who wrote that. Who wrote? It'd be funny if it's Neil deGrasse Tyson that wrote it. That'd be funny. <laughs> Why? First thing that came up is, did Tyler, the creator, write the Bill Nye theme song? I think it was in his pampers when that nigga dropped, man. <laughs> I was about to say, word, that nigga was a toddler at that time. I imagine he still did, though. As a toddler. This song was made by a nigga named Mike Green. Shout out to Mike Green, I guess. Shout out to Mike Green. Word. Shout, Shout out, out to Mike, Mike Green. Green. Shout out to yeah. Mike Dean. Word. Shout out to Crack Rock La Familia. We love y'all. This is Crack in the 80s. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. You see what happens when two spaceships collide? It creates a big bang. Neil, shut the fuck up, man. <laughs> All these facts. Facts aren't fun, bro. Yeah, all these not even facts, my nigga. All these, you know what I'm saying? Shit, <laughs> we can't confirm myself. Where you getting this shit from, my nigga? You fuck with them niggas? Uh, facts. That's when you gotta start asking niggas do they fuck with you fuck with them aliens, my nigga. All right, nigga. So you whose side are you really on, nigga? Right. You get what I'm saying? You feel me? Like how dare you, my nigga? Why niggas do you know kids, so much? Niggas. niggas got kids, my nigga. I said, why do you know so much? Word, you playing. That's around, the thing about science too. Science is First of all, the shit changes. Man, I don't even want to get level five too early in the pod, man. It's just, I don't, man. All y'all niggas science. know, man, blue and red makes purple, my nigga. Well, that, that's because science is literally everything. If you want to get technical, science is everything. Everything. It's the yeah. way of life. It's what we run on. It's, it's how we survive know, on this how planet. We it's how right. we, you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. It's how things work on the planet. Like, but that's and that's why I'm it's... saying that that nigga need to shut the fuck up because we live in science. We live in this shit. Yeah. <laughs> we we are science. Nigga. We, we are science. Right. Exactly. Experiments. A woman like, and a nigga fucking. That's science, my nigga. That's that's magic. Literally all that's, science. All science, uh, yeah. bro. If so you shut the fuck up too. about the spit about the aliens. Yeah, get the fuck out of here, my nigga. For niggas with your ass, bro. Some people believe science is magic. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, Word. Mumbo jumbo. Right. Exactly. You feel what I'm saying? So. That's why I said, my nigga, blue and blue and red makes purple, my nigga. That's it. Crack rock lot familiar. I heard that, man. Crack purple eight balls, man. Purple tops. Look how it come around, man. Exactly. You see what you see where I was going that. with it. You see where I was going with it. You man, see? I see. Go I seen the GPS, that. man. You seen top the GPS? Up, top up. You feel what I'm saying? You seen it? You yeah, see how I up. keep bringing up the purple? Oh, oh that yellow, yellow, nigga. Oh, that purple, top. purple, nigga. Copper man, cracking the eighties podcast dot com slash merch. We might we might have some new shit on there. You know what I mean? Real soon, summertime Ooh. coming. We might have a little new new, new gear for y'all. 
What we doing? What we doing? You feel me? <laughs> you feel me? How niggas is doing, man? The guys is back, man. The boys are back in town. I had a, I had a, I had a decent week, man. I had a decent week. Decent week? week? What you did, man? What you did? How decent? Yeah, what you did, bro? You was vibing decent? Yeah, I think it's really. Yeah, I think it's just want to get to the five guys story, huh? Like that's, that's <laughs> no, no. Yeah, I don't even know what you're talking like about, bro. No, yeah, so I I that's, even... that's what that's what y'all was alluding to. What happened yeah, that five guys? Y'all yeah, never kid him all week this much before. <laughs> yo, I don't even know. Yo, drugs. Do you know what this man's talking about? Nah, I genuinely. If if if, if we did speak on this, I, I, I went to five guys, my nigga. <laughs> Whoa! All right, I went there. Sheesh. So you, you had an exciting so you had an exciting week. <laughs> <laughs> said, I, I might have. I might have. You went to five guys, bro. What you, you got? Why did you go to five burgers? Because I wanted I wanted a murder burger and some homicide fries. That nigga went for the beef. Okay. Yo, hey, listen. Five guys isn't a a, a orgy restaurant. <laughs> nigga, after I ate the food, nigga, I went back to the restaurant, nigga, and asked where the five niggas at. And I adapt all, adapt all them niggas up. My nigga Sean, <laughs> Jamal, Derek, my nigga Steve, and and fucking and fucking uh and fucking I don't know uh nigga Mars came walked in the restaurant and said, "Are oh, the guys here right now?" Word. No, I ain't gonna you know, lie to you. You know you that... see niggas on the block and you you, you adapt them, like niggas you don't you don't really know them like that, but you know them and you give them pound. You give him a dap. Yo, what's good, y'all? What's good, y'all? What's on the That's road? That's like the niggas that you don't really know, but you don't want no static with either, so you keep it cordial just by giving yeah, them Yeah, yeah, what's dap. good, y'all? Yo, what's good, y'all? But it's mad at them niggas all the yeah, time. Word. Like six, Fact. seven niggas at a time. You just gotta keep it cool. Good looking, good looking on that. Good looking on that. Good looking on that. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> good looking, good looking. Word. Good. It's nothing like a good looking that'll get you out of some shit. You know what I mean? You might be in that same situation. You don't really know niggas that well. You don't know niggas' tendencies. A good looking, a nigga might try to, you know what I mean? He's not even on some static with you, but he just doing some shit that you can't really read if he on your side or if he just on some bullshit. Yo, nah, good looking though, my nigga. Nigga could have told you like one plus one equals two. Oh, works. Good looking, my nigga. You were two. Yep. Real shit. But you was at five guys. Continue. Nah, I just got me a, I'm a just, I just got me a bacon cheeseburger, man. That was it, man. Five guys for nothing, not for nothing. It's a pause. It's an AO, but they they make some good ass food, man. They got they got some great food, man. Very filling food. The cheese is because this is Miller House restaurant by me, right? And they you get a bacon cheeseburger from there. The burger's good. And they they really cook their burgers on a grill. Like it's it's a it's a they grill a lot of their food. Yeah. Right. You can yeah, smell yeah. the shit outside. They be outside sometimes with the shit. You can see it. It's a rest. It's crazy. It's a restaurant. But they use the white American cheese, and even though it tastes the same. I just don't like the way it look. Because it's white? Because it's white. <laughs> Why so, not, though? I fuck with white American cheese. I'm I do, up. too, but I've had it I've had it for months on end. So now I'm like, I want a burger with some yellow cheese, my nigga. I want a, I want a, a murder burger and some homicide fries, my nigga. I want that, my nigga. And your mom said, I'm tired of this white American cheese. I got to go pull up on the guys. Yeah, I got to go pull up on the geysers. I gotta go pull up on the guys. The guy they back there right now. I don't know. I might go holler at some niggas today again, man. I might it's go so check. funny you, how marketing works and just have, having a conversation. Me and drugs, we was just talking about reach and how the internet works. Instagram. Shout out my nigga Kang. That nigga going viral right now. Nigga got videos out there with four million views. Type shit. Crazy shit. But. Just in terms of how marketing or just how reach works, you just bringing up five guys. I'm like, yo, damn, I should get a burger today. That fast, just the thought. You put the thought out there, it connects. Now I want a burger. I don't know if I want to go hit up the five guys, <laughs> but may fuck with a little water burger or something. You know, you never know. It's the power of just how the brain works, man. That's what's up, though, man. You checked out five guys this week, man. You dapped them up. That's what's up. That's yeah, what's I met. Up, yeah, I met. I met the five. I met the five niggas behind the hole. What? I wonder why they called it five guys, though. I don't even think I really want to wonder. Yeah, no, nah, that probably came from like some know. wild, a wild night. I hope not. But shit, hey, shout out to y'all. It's y'all month, allegedly. 
Oh, is that's what they say? That's what they gave y'all? Shout out to y'all niggas, man. What, what, what? Oh, I had Burger King yesterday, though, and that shit was bad. I think Burger King is the best fast food restaurant, if you ask me. Between, Plain like... Broiled? Yeah, between, like, like McDonald's and Wendy's and all that shit, like, Burger King is the best money. And I think mm-hmm. niggas need to grow up and understand that shit. McDonald's... McDonald's is obviously fake food. Like, it's obvious. All these restaurants have fake food, right? But McDonald's is the most obvious. Yeah. And that's also why this is the most successful. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's the most Cutting obvious corners. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you can. You know, I had a I had a McDonald's burger maybe like a year ago, maybe if that. And I was like, man, this shit's so motherfucking fake, man. I don't even want this shit no more. Fucking... But a, a Wendy's burger, it's like you know oh, this might be fake. Fresh, never frozen. Yeah, Burger King burger. You like nah? This shit is off the grill, nigga. This shit. This shit is off the grill right here. Somebody, even, somebody, even if they rub charcoal over the burgers, even if they rub charcoal, like it. It, it, exactly, they don't taste like it's fake. White Castle. All right, see now you're going into the fucking depths of the the food and the fast food industry. Nigga said White Castle. White Castle, man. They don't even got them shits everywhere. There's not one in the Nigga, entire. I remember of Texas. I drove an hour and a half out here to a for fucking uh White Castle, nigga. Oh, you must have just watched Harold and Kumar or some shit. Nigga, no, we was nigga. We wanted some Mike Castle. And it was we got back, we drove back, we ate there, and we ate there and then ordered some food to go back home with. Oh yeah, you niggas was on a, a mission. We was in club bathroom for a long time, but I mean, hey. Yeah, for sure. Guaranteed. It was worth it, nigga. It was worth it. I'm not going to lie, like, I never used to fuck with White Castle as a youth, that, you know what I mean? I used to go bowling with my neighbor. Um, shout out to to the to my Far Rock neighbors, next door neighbors. You know, the crib I used to live in, that shit was legit connected to another house. Which is kind of wild when you think about it in terms of design. Like, why? Why is that? I don't know. I get it, though. It's like, uh, in terms of business and real estate, when you buy land... You have the land, and then you might, you know what I mean? You might not have enough space to build two full houses with, uh, you know, you can walk around all the sides. So you build two houses, share a wall, and now you're actually getting two rent for the price of one plot of land. That's, that's, that's how niggas... They, they, they don't really allow you to do that nowadays. Like, I'm slightly into real estate. Um... Very, very, like really slightly, like just because. Uh, next next year, me and my shorty trying to do some things, so I'm just kind of into kind of how the shit works. It's it's a lot of shit that niggas used to get away with in the past, where now it's just not that way anymore. But it's like, damn, the motherfuckers who got away with it, they really stole. They got to steal, basically. I mean, we all living on stolen land anyway, but damn, like. The niggas that got in early and was able to get the fucking finesse off. It's like shit. Niggas Kinda crazy. Was, the niggas was promoting Siamesism. Real talk with the buildings. With Real the buildings, estate. right. Making that money, man. Mm-hmm. Imagine mm-hmm. you buy some land and nigga tell you, yo, the most you can make is one house where you can get maybe three bands, whatever the fuck it is. And you say, oh, word. Nah, I'm about to make two smaller houses and get double that. And when you just trying to buy a house, you're not considering that shit. You're trying to buy a fucking space to live. You don't give a fuck as long as the price is in your range. You don't care like, how the nigga like got a it or lot, he's getting over on. I feel like a lot of American decisions were based off a of blunt. Like that sound like a blunt move. Like, a, you know what? I'm gonna build. I'm gonna build one house and then like put them shits together like glue, my nigga. <laughs> I feel you on that. A lot yeah, of blunt yeah. decisions, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Even yeah, down to like bodegas with houses upstairs. Bodegas? Bodegas with houses upstairs. Like the, 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 when the houses came to the bodega. <laughs> what? Bodega? Bodega, my nigga. Bodega nights? Yeah, now I, feel, I think that's more of a, a, a New York. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know bodegas anywhere else outside of NY. New in New York, you gotta build up because it ain't no space. So, it but it probably was the same. But that shit thing. was like, like that. That shit was like that in the sixties, though, my nigga. Yeah, I think it's the same thing. Like, yo, 
nigga bought a plot of land and it was a store or he built a store and it was like, fuck, like, I want to live in the close by. Let's build upward and build on top of this fucking store and just put a staircase in the back. Well, it'd be niggas that don't even work for the store that live upstairs, my nigga. Yeah, sometimes that happens too. So it's like, I'm not living on top of no store, my nigga. Yeah, the cat might sneak upstairs with yeah. the bread. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I ain't got time for that shit. You hear niggas arguing downstairs. Just shut the fuck up, man. Mm-hmm. No, nah, it's, 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 it's okay, puppy. Go back upstairs. Ah, I, I mean, it's, it's, wild, it's, 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 it's a good, you know, if you got the munchies. But, I mean, nah. That's scaring the hoes away. That's definitely scaring the hoes. Damn, yeah, nigga, you look at the store. up again, bro. Hey, nigga, you live in the store, nigga? Nigga, say you live where, where Hector Bond live, stays? <laughs> hey, nigga, you live in the store, nigga? Ew, nigga, I ain't coming to your motherfucking store, nigga. You got to walk through the store to get to the crib. That's kind of crazy. That's crazy. But it is convenient, though. Yo, bitch, go downstairs and give me some. Before you come upstairs, give me a soda, bitch. Bring a pack of condoms up here <laughs> so I don't use them. Or Hold on, real quick, real quick, y'all. Pause. We got 20 minutes. in town welcome back to the show everybody man cracking the 80s the guys are all here it's not five of us but it's three of us <laughs> drugs is in the motherfucking building bam 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 what you won't do Mm-mm, do for drugs. Mm-mm, you tried everything. What's up, my guy? Talk to the people, them. Drugs is here. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. What's up? What's up, world? We back, we back, man. I feel, I'm feeling amazing uh, this week. Um, You know, uh, I can't express... I'm telling y'all, man, no day, bro. Like, I really enjoy and appreciate these moments that I get, you know, to chop it up with y'all, you know, kick it and do this show. Even though, you know, y'all my brothers for life and we talk, you know, not, you know what I'm saying? Not, not, not trying to get emotional and shit like that, but nah, nah, get know, emotional, I, nigga. I, I, I appreciate y'all niggas, man. I love y'all niggas. You know, I, you know, I love, I love the fans that, you know, consistently come and kick it with us. And shit like that. Um, so, you know, I, I'm excited, man. You know, I, I appreciate it. I'm grateful. Every episode, every pod, every day, you know. And uh, we're we going to do it big this episode, man. And every other episode. So, big mind. Stay tuned, baby. Big mind ting. Word up, word up. Mars is in the motherfucking building. Hey, 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 guys. I'm just looking at my couch right now, angry than a motherfucker. This nigga really bust his toy open and got caught in every motherfucking way. Hey, that's dog life, man. Welcome to the welcome to the uh, the wonderful life of owning a pet. At least you only got one, nigga. And he knew he was doing some crazy shit too. Cause I went to sleep. And sometimes I go to sleep with him being up, even though it always turns out bad when I do that. And then when I woke up. He just looking at me like, oh, shit. He said, oh, shit, he up now. He up now. I'm in trouble. <laughs> this fucking dog, man. This motherfucker. Jesus But you Christ. love him, though. Even love him to death. Bullshit. I love him like, to death. Damn, nigga, I, I love him to death. That you did that shit, but yeah, man. I love him to death, man. This little nigga. He's funny. He's a That's funny guy. Him. He's a funny guy. Funny guy. Funny guy. 5-2 is in the motherfucking building. Never too much, never too much, never too much, never too much. Boom. 
Boom, boom. And we all here, man. Cracking the eighties. Crack rock life familiar. Hey, what's up, man? We back. I had a really good week, man. I went to Tizo Touchdown. Yeah. Ain't a sweet but the new name. Ain't a sweet but the new name. Don't try to talk to me in the club. Uh, yeah. That nigga Tizo the is the goat, man. God, what bro. the fuck? Oh, man. So me I and got my a shorty. Yeah, took me and my talk, shorty, man. man. I was done. Man, I man, I life is good, fellas. Like when man. you find you a nice little young lady that man, is down to, for you, talk, man. Talk to him, man. Talk. Hey, hey, listen, man. <laughs> life is good, bro. Like so, mm-hmm. I cop these tickets maybe last year because they went on sale maybe like November or some shit. Yeah, I was like, oh, we're a teaser, and this is mind you, the album is out already at this time. We talked about it on the pod. Obviously, I cop the tickets right. months in advance. I forgot that the show was, you know what I mean, last weekend until like my shorty brought it up. She was like, Oh, yeah, ain't the ain't the show this week? And I'm like, oh shit, you're right, baby. It is. <laughs> it's this weekend. <laughs> you're right, baby. Yeah. It is. <laughs> and mind you, before this, I used to try to put her on the Tizo. She didn't really care. She thought the songs were sad. You know, what I mean, this in that cutty realm kind of vulnerability. If you're not really into it or if you don't catch a song. Especially if you look at his appearance, you're going to just write everything off right away. We get there. Mind you, we get there. It's at the House of Blues. Shout out to House of Blues, Houston. Cool venue. Um, We get there. Doors are, it says the show is at 7, but you know, you get there 7 o'clock. It's niggas that done been there since 12 o'clock lined up and shit at the front. The line is insane. I wasn't surprised, but she brought it to my attention like, yo, damn, I didn't know this is the type of reach bro had getting back to reach and shit i wasn't surprised i was just like yeah baby like <laughs> it's tizo nigga he was on drake album he did music with everybody as of, at up to now so we on we on the, we on the line you know what i mean real cool i realized it was an all ages show which i thought was pretty fucking cool because tizo is a fun you know i mean he's a fun dude he's not making no music that's violent or ages you know what i mean there was people on online with their children like a, a mom and a dad with like their two kids i was like yo that's fucking fire maybe like mom dad like 30 plus kids maybe like nine to 12 cool shit i was like yo that's fucking dope they the kids had on fucking t-zone merch I'm like yo damn that's fire so you know what i mean line start finally moving <laughs> we're getting upstairs so how House of Blues, drugs. I don't know if you ever seen it while you was out here, but it's downtown, downtown Houston. You know, it's not, it's a, it's, the city is big, but downtown Houston is kind of like a small space. How it is, they have, it's like levels. It's basically like a, like a plaza, if you consider that like a plaza with like a bunch of stores, but it's built it upward. So it's kind of like New York where you got to go up an escalator and go up flights of steps to get to, the third floor where the house of blues venue is. So I mean, we, we finally getting up there. We getting closer, getting the line, start moving. We get to the front. Now we about to go through security whole time. You know what I mean? It's a little hot. Me and my shorty waiting online. We get to the front. Now she got a bag with her. You know what I mean? She's like, yo, damn, I hope they don't kind of like fuck with me for the bag. I'm like, yo, nah, they most likely they just going to check it, but they're not going to fuck with you. We get to the front. <laughs> She gives her, she gives them her bag and they, you know I mean? They looking through it and shit. I, I don't have a bag. So I'm like standing off to the side waiting for her to get done. <laughs> Bro, why? And my, my, my sweet baby, my girl is just such a sweet, like doesn't even know this shit is like a thing. <laughs> they pull out pepper spray out of her bag, bro. And it's like, yeah, you can't go in with that. <laughs> It's a test to her keys, right? They pull it out. They're like, yo, you can't go in that, go in with that. And she's so oblivious and like not aware of this type of shit. She's like, my keys? I'm like, no, baby, <laughs> like the pepper spray. That's a fucking weapon. So I, I take it off the keychain. We gotta toss it. But she was so upset and just like, yo, damn. I didn't even know. <laughs> like, 
<laughs> I'm like, yo, baby, you know, you can't even take that to the airport. I'm glad they found it here because we're going to New York next week and I would have hated uh, for yeah. that shit to be on your fucking keychain at the airport. Like, what whoa. She got a mace bulb. Get her. <laughs> Yo. Now, and this is, mind you, the airport that we leaving through is my old job, so I got to walk through. I might see niggas I know. I got to explain. Yo, my bad, y'all. Like, we wasn't even trying to do nothing like that. But then the show. We they like, yeah, right. Yeah, right, nigga. We know you ain't like us. <laughs> yeah, right, nigga. We know we, you got fired from here. We right. knew you was on some shit. You was trying to come back and bomb <laughs> us, you sick bastard. <laughs> Crazy, but man, the show, man, Tizo's a fucking beast. Tell that to the judge on Monday, nigga. <laughs> Tizo's a beast, bro. From the first free show I went to, that Spotify shit, to now, the nigga, it has improved so much. Also, I realized, and my shorty pointed this out, and I'm going to go along how the show went, and this is not a spoiler, but you know, it's a spoiler, I guess, if you're going to see the show. My bad, listeners. Uh... How he come, how the show starts, they show like a projected screen at the back where it's like a sit down interview. But he's basically going through the phases of his career. You know, early 2020 was the Instagram era where he was posting them Instagram clips, records like be careful, don't be a sucker, check on your strong friend, dumb joints where he would just had like, you know, what I mean, the visual with the little garage and in the interview. He talked about how they found a the garage, all that shit. Real fire. Then he comes out after that, performs some records. Fire. Real artist shit, no vocals, just the instrumental and his voice, stage show type shit. Like the beat is arranged in a way that is meant, you know what I mean? It's gonna hit in the parts it does. He did Strong Friend, he did Don't Be a Sucker, he did uh, Be Careful. Get full, baby, get, get, get full, baby. Boy, you better be careful. He did all them joints. He goes back, and then my shorty put me on the nails, you know, the nails that he wears in his hair. It's a fucking wig, which makes so much sense. Cause I, when we were walking up, I'm like, "Yo, we walked past like a tour bus," and she's like, "Oh, is that the is is that Tizo's tour bus?" I'm like, "Yeah, he's probably in there putting the nails in his hair." And then we really worked through that. Like, yo, you think he does this every day? Imagine how long it takes if he were to wake up every fucking day, every morning, and have to do that. And then we realized it's a fucking wig. <laughs> Which is fire, even more fire, I thought. Like, cause he went, he came out without it, went to the back, like two sec, maybe like two minutes, came back full head hair, full head of hair with fucking nails on it. She was like, oh, it's a wig. I was like, oh, fuck, that's so genius. Saves you time, you got the image, and nobody really knows it's real unless you see it in person. If you see a picture of it, you don't know he just put a wig on. But if you see him without it, and then two minutes go by and it's on, it's like, oh, shit. You ain't put 200 nails in your hair that fast. That nigga saw Tizo. That nigga saw Tizo first first down on on, on the 60-yard line. (laughs) Nigga seen Tizo (laughs) three-pointer. Nigga saw Tizo go! (laughs) Tizo go! (laughs) Yeah, but I mean, we left there, like I was mentioning, she wasn't really a fan of him. She heard some joints, seen him live, and now she's a fan. I, that's my favorite, especially when it's your person, the person you with. When you try to put them onto some shit and they don't fuck with it, you're like, damn. But then something brings them back, and you're like, oh, yes, I, I knew you would fuck with this. I didn't know it would take this. It was cool. Her favorite record is Sweet. Everything sweet, sweet. He he did all of them joints. He did the whole album basically, from front to back. Fire man! Like if you have the opportunity to see him, please go on. He's still on tour. He was actually in NY recently. This nigga Mark, shout out to the homie Mark. He seen him recently at Irving Plaza. I think it was this past Thursday. So last Thursday, whenever y'all listening to this. Nigga, nigga turned it up, man. Tizo is a legit star, bro. We talked about it. We predicted it. We're, I'm seeing it now in real life. He is a star, nigga, for real. And I love that it was an all-ages show because most of his music don't, ha- don't have profanity, so that helps. But also, like, 
multiple generations can appreciate the music. We was in there with fucking kid, like parents with their fucking young kids, high schoolers, college kids, adults. It's kind of cool to see one artist bring out every aspect of that. And, you know, it's, it's a specific type of person. Art, artists kind of got person, you know what I mean? It was people in there cosplaying. It was a nigga in there with nails in his head. It, it's just fire. Like that, an artist and music can bring you to that point. I always appreciate that. That's why I always attribute Cuddy as one of like, those first people for me while I was outside going to see shows that, you know what I mean, you could relate to. It's fire, man. But shout out to my girl for trying to bring pepper spray into the event. G, <laughs> G, <laughs> nigga, real talk. You know, this no, is, it went even like- further. It went even further because I bought her the pepper spray. Because now, nah, I mean, I'm like, yo, she be going walking, running on her own. I'm like, yo, I don't trust these niggas out here. I need to give you something. You don't want a gun? Fuck it, take this pepper spray. She said, yo, my keys. And then when she said, when she had to get rid of it, she was like. My man gave me that. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> that's, that's, that's my baby right there. Go and turn up on these niggas, but not too much, though. <laughs> niggas said, yeah. Niggas said, yeah. <laughs> I was just like, yo, damn. Niggas started blushing. Nigga, word. My black ass was blushing. I ain't never experienced her in that, like, where she was on some, like, yo, nah, this my shit. <laughs> but also in the wrong, too. <laughs> I was just like, yo, damn. I said, yeah, nigga. It's that real shit. That real love, man. And why I'm gonna be in NY next week, man. Gotham City. I don't know if I'm afraid, excited, ready. That city is kind of crazy, man. From the last time I've been there, and drugs, we talk. You know, we be talking and shit. Yeah. I was talking about oatmeal the other day. Yeah, granola and all that. Mm-hmm. The city is getting everything goes in full circle. So funny at the Tizo show, my shorty was saying how she seen younger girls in low rise jeans and she felt old because he remembered when it was a thing and when it went away and when it came back. I think we're experiencing that with New York City, bro. The shit was terrible in the 90s. Around early 2000s, 2010s, when we were running around, shit was kind of decent. It was actually good. And then come back around 15, 10 years later, shit fucked up just like it was in the 90s. It might as well be prostitution and shit on 40 Deuce. Times Square might as well be prostitution. And then, I mean, I'm going to be there. We staying off of like 50th near the MoMA. I'm like, damn, that shit don't even really protect you from the, 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 the bullshit. So I'm like, God damn, I got to get a weapon when I land, nigga. Fuck. I got to touch down and find a weapon. It's crazy, man. But I'm going to be there next week, man. My my niece is graduating junior high school, man. I probably, I'm probably going to cry. I'm not going to keep, I'm going to keep it a buck with y'all, man. My niece had her prom recently. I was just like, yo, damn, you are growing up for real. Yeah, time is flying, man. It's it's crazy, bro. You know what's crazy? I think for me, because mind you, it's my niece. I don't see or live with her every day. She's not my child, obviously. She's my sister's child. But I've when we when I was still living in the rock, we all grew up in the same house. So we grew up around each other. Like I grew up seeing my sister without a kid get pregnant, have a kid, have multiple kids, have two kids. But also, that also entails, you know what I mean? If you're living in this house, you're going to have to chip in and help with this new baby. So summertime, while when I'm out of like, I think it's college. I think it's college times. Yeah, it's definitely college time. So I'm out. I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm home, basically. I'm just, I got a free time. I ain't got no job at this time. So my job, I would get paid to watch her. The shit that fucks with me, and it's like, yo, damn, uh, you remember that? I remember I used to watch her as a kid, and it would be early, because mind you, everybody would leave like 6 in the morning, so I'm up 6, 7 a.m. babysitting. Cool, so I, you know, you got to set up a routine at this point. Certain shows come, come on at certain times during the day that she might like, like, you know, Disney Channel, all that type of shit. 
I remember vividly 1 p.m. would come around and it was like, yo, this is like her post lunchtime and maybe time for a snack. And I only had like two, three more hours before someone came home and I was, you know, I'm relieved of my duties. But I remember to get her to get tired around that time after lunch, because she would get more energy after lunch. She might have had a snack. Now she's up. And I'm getting more tired. And, I, and I'm, you know, I mean, I might want to go smoke some bud. I'm probably smoking bud at this time. I'm just chilling. I would put on Rihanna's We Found Love. And we would dance to that shit for like 15 minutes straight. Legit. Just on repeat, nigga. I fell in love in a hopeless place. And to this day, I ask her. She still remembers that shit. So I'm like, yo, damn. Like, I don't remember shit from my age back then. But. You remember that? Like, damn. And then I see her in prom about to graduate. I'm like, yo, damn, I can understand what it means to have a kid. And I don't even have a kid. That's wild. Like, it's insane, man. Mars, you only want to hear with a kid. So I know you experience way more than this type shit. So how would you feel? Like, you know what I mean? When this, this Payton's prom coming up and shit or graduation, that shit get, it gets emotional, bro. I know how sticky it gets, my nigga. <laughs> you know how sticky it get. Yeah, it get crazy, man. She had that shit last year when she graduated because they had uh fifth, fifth grade. She had a prom and a graduation. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. It was it was, it was crazy, good. Man. It was dope. Yeah, yeah. I got good. I got crazy drunk after it though. You got to, bro. Yeah, I had to celebrate. I had to celebrate my daughter's success. Celebrate. Yeah, no, you know what I'm like, saying? Shit. Trying to figure out I'm still trying to figure out now what I'm gonna get her. So it's you know I mean me and my girl going out there. We got a nice little hotel. We Thursday to Sunday is where where we're gonna be out there. You gotta think outside the box. Just, for her, I don't know, nigga. Whether, she's... whether you going whether whether it's an actual you know a gift or Ooh. you taking her somewhere. Yeah, just I'm think outside the box, like. And when I say think outside the box, I don't mean doing some outlandish shit. You know, sometimes people take that as like, yo, yeah, let's go skydiving. No, <laughs> nigga. I'm saying, you know, kind of tap in, tap tap into what she loves, like yeah. you know, what she really fucks with. Maybe she hasn't experienced some shit that she 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 really would like to do, you know? You know just maybe figure that out or talk to her about it or, you know, or maybe guess. Yeah. Yeah, that's where I'm at right now. I'm trying to figure out, like, it's fucked up because my shorty already got a gift for her. My my shorty crochets, like, she makes stuff, like, with her hands, so she's going to make her something. I'm like, fuck, like, the only thing I know how to make is fucking beats and music and, like, digital shit. You don't fuck with none of this. <laughs> like, as a young girl, like, none of the shit that I do is cool to her yet. It might be, but I don't know about it. But I'm going to be honest with you. I do believe gifting in a way is easier for women. Like they, um, I think women are good at that in some ways. At, in a lot of at ways. giving the gifts, you mean? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Oh, bro, hell like, yes. You know, they, like they, bro, what? They, you know, like, I'm, and I, obviously it's not all. You know, we're not gonna say that. It's the but good I'm just ones. saying, yeah, yeah. You know, the the one, the thoughtful ones, uh, mm -hmm. and, and honestly, the, those are really the gems, man. Like, and I'm not even speaking just relationship wise. I'm saying like just a person, as a person in general, a human being. Yeah, that's an amazing human being because yeah. there's no limit. Thought to, into it. Thought yeah. went into it. You right? couldn't and just. Then, do it. There's no limit to 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 that person's superpower. Like, yeah, if, I, if you put them in a position, nigga, they might run a hospital, or yeah. you know what I'm saying, run a, a university. Or, they have the skill to be able to make that part of life work. With, for sure, yeah, genuinely, you know yeah, what I'm saying, no, not facts. with the intent to put money in pockets. Hey man, like I I, I used to. I feel like I'm only good at giving my my girl gifts. She she's amazing. Like she didn't got me matched. Like this can I got a can the Canon camera. Like I'm taking that shit with us to NY. Mm -hmm. She got me that. Like just I don't know. She's tapped in. Like she she understands me to know what I like to get mm -hmm. me shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is the funny part though. Like you so know, sorry by the way. 
shout out, shout out to wife, man. Shout, shout out, out to the to Mrs. Man, Mrs. Five yeah, Two. Yeah, 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 man. Oh man, shout out. We, to you know, what I mean, we went, we we going on family trips. You know, what I mean, we went to Lake Charles. We talked about that. My sister was there. My my niece nephew. I love, and this is not the first time that we've been around each other. Like my sister comes out here to Houston like multiple times a year because you know she works. She's a teacher. She works in the school. So any time her kids have off, she has off too because it's right. the same schedule. So they'll fly out here. <laughs> so so me and my girl have been out with my sister with the kids and without the kids. So we like we have a real relationship. We've been out in like partying vibes, getting drunk, and with the kids around, getting drunk. <laughs> yeah. But it's just funny. So like my girl is really integrated, and this is I love this because I've probably never ever had this in my life where like the person I'm with is obviously like I love her and I'm with her and like everything's fun. But to see that my family feels the same way, it's like yo. But also it's reciprocated on her part too, where it's like she only speaks to my mom in Spanish, bro, because you know Spanish is my mom's first language. She yeah. speaks Spanish. I'll be like, yo, nah, y'all niggas gotta cut that shit out, bro. I don't yeah, know what y'all yeah, saying. Yeah, like, tone, nah. Tone, yeah, tone that shit <laughs> tone down. That shit tone down. that shit down. All that Espanol bullshit. Nah, man. Yeah, we English shit in this here. family. <laughs> <laughs> So no, 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 I don't know what the fuck y'all just said. Nah, man. nah, nah. Y'all wilding right now. Turn that shit down, but you, you know what's so funny about that? Bro, I, I'm I'm too I'm t- and you probably said that in a moment or some shit like that, so that's still funny in itself. But bro, like y- y'all already know, like we all some comedic niggas. Like, bro, I just imagine myself in situation a situation like that. Like, bro, I'm I would be t- everybody would be laughing constantly, bro, because I I would make a joke out of every moment, yeah. just like that. As yeah. soon as every time. Y'all come around me talking Spanish. I'm going to just throw some shit out there. Mm-hmm. Hey, listen. I said I ain't want spaghetti tonight. All right? <laughs> nah, that's facts. Don't, that's don't, how don't, it don't, is. Don't, 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 don't go telling my moms. You know what I'm saying? Don't, 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 don't go doing all that. You know what I'm saying? She don't want to hear all that. You know what I mean? <laughs> and you say, yo, Bad Bunny is not in the building today. He's not. He's coming tomorrow. All right? Save that for then. <laughs> yeah, nah, facts. Yeah, it's 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 fun. It's funny. Like it's it's yeah. a cool thing, man. Nineties New York is back, though, man. Like that's bro. <sighs> obviously, I ain't worried, but shit. Like I, my shorty might need to strap up. Like she got to get that nah, fucking you, pepper spray again. Uh, you know, you, you know, you, y'all good, man. Yeah, um, nah, facts. You know, y'all don't. Yeah, it ain't niggas don't parlay and. Yeah, you know, I I know enough. Certain. Like you know, what I mean, I'm from the town. I I I, I can sense things. Like, oh yeah, for sure. My I think, and this will probably be a little bit more when you have a child. But when I'm out with her, and it's like an event, like a show, like a Tizo show, for instance. You know, like um, you know, what I mean, you want to be protective. You want to be all of that, all of the shit. You don't want nobody to get too close to your girl, all that type shit. Even though it don't matter, she don't care. That's just where my mindset is. Like that's when I'm. That's my job for the night. Mind you, I'm enjoying the show, but if if a nigga get too close, that might bump her. I might be like, "All right, baby, you can stand on this side." I'm not I, gonna lie. That's that's that, that's it. Get it get tough when you. You know what I mean? You in a different city? Not a, not. I mean, but basically, what I'm saying is going back to NY. I'm not uh, uh, unprepared for what. I don't expect anything to oh, happen, yeah. obviously, but I'm not unprepared if nah. nigga shit got to get wild. But I do want to say, um, you know, as somebody who um, kind of goes through and deals with anxiety, uh, you know, here and there, stuff like that. Uh, you know, growing up in the city or just being in the city now, I should say, um it it is it's a struggle man like it's it's a bit of a struggle i'm not going to lie um it um uh, it kind of it kind of fucks with your everyday living in a way so mm. um 
I think, and I think it does that for a lot of us too. Um, you know, you, you kind of find ways to cope, right. Uh, or you find ways to, to, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like just, uh, go around it and, you know, just be excited about other, th- you know, like go around it, you know, you maneuver you. Yeah, exactly. Um, and that can go into what what you want to call it, uh, being on your phone, uh, being on your games. Yeah, there's uh, so many different ways and... now to kind of <clears throat> be disassociated with what you're going on right now, but it's a normal thing. Like yep. you said, like on even your working phone, working from home. Yeah. That that became bigger now. Why? Ever since the pandemic, more people has been willing to tap into that. Like I, I know people like, you know what I'm saying? Like Some people, for the man. most part, you know, yeah. Like that I'm close to that have told me this, that, that are doing this. Like, you know what I'm saying? You, uh, I, e. um, so yeah, you know, it's, it's, yeah, man, it's, it's, it's definitely a challenge. Um, you know, and I'm, I'm so, um, observant to the point like you know when i'm when i even when i'm walking to the store right um you know sometimes you may notice when you're walking down the street you're walking past people whatever it may be you'll see other people like kind of dealing with their shit in a way like you know you'll see somebody walking up the street with their face in the phone yeah yep and there's a million reasons why that's a bad idea. Depends there's on a the city. million in New for York this for city sure. specifically. Yeah, I'm about to say New York for sure. Yeah, because this city is so much of a strolling, I, I want to say a strolling city. You gotta have your there's head There's not too away. many. You gotta be aware. Right. There's, I can't say every city you go to, you're going to see everybody walking on the streets. Like you know what I'm saying? It's New limited. York City is like the prime, I would it's say Mecca. one of one of the prime cities for that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Ah, fuck that. The it's LA's the prime. The, yeah, LA, yeah. you ain't walking that much in LA. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. New York, right. you walk wherever you are. Like legit. Yeah, true. True. It's probably if we keep it in a buck, it's the only city. There's not that many other cities. Like I can't I've never been to that many. Atlanta, maybe, but you gotta drive somewhat. You can walk nah, in Atlanta. Though, not but... so much in Atlanta. Not not so much. Not so much. Um, but here and there, yeah, for sure. I heard but Washington maybe slightly like that. Yeah. Chicago, but mm, okay, yeah. It's, it's, yep. it's more it's like, space in them cities compared to Yeah, New York. exactly. Exactly. And it's it's the 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 amount of people. The, the population and, and, and exactly like, where that that's what kind of you know what i'm saying fucks with it it's like it's so many people nigga whether you want to get in a car and drive whether you want to get on a train the bus whether you want to decide to walk you're gonna run into a lot of fucking people so like what do you what do you, what do y'all see and we could probably not stay on this too much longer new york <laughs> new york city Niggas, I seen we seen niggas get cracked in the head with a bottle recently. Niggas smoke crack on a train. Crazy, crack is bro. back, but what do you see and why in the next five years? And this, mind you, next five years that means we going through this election where it looks like Trump's gonna win or whatever, and then another five another five years, which means it's gonna be another election. New York, what what does New York look like? Then you know you got the drill That's scene the out there in the Bronx when niggas is wilding. Um, I think New York, well, New York City now specifically, um, since the new mayor and all that, uh, it kind of just turned. It, yeah, like I like we were saying before, it kind of is is go is that feeling back then, like that maybe like mid nineties of where, and I want to say. I'm, specifically, I'm gonna say this because it was, you know, the paranoia or the, you the, know, you that never really knew feeling. what was gonna happen. Right? You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, it's it's definitely uh, 
it's it's that feeling. I would say. Yeah. I think if you if you're used to that feeling though, you can maneuver and you can you know what I mean it ain't yeah for sure for sure you have the people like you said like like we said before the cope yeah you know I think I think New York is gonna be underwater. Well, that's a fact actually. Oh, that's that Bill Nye science right there. Yeah, yeah. Born, that was born, actually born rat makes blood fellas. <laughs> <laughs> Purple tops, dude. Purple tops. Yeah. Yeah, talk that shit, Bill. Nah, the science guy. Nah, but imagine though, that shit. This shit gonna be. Uh, it's supposed like the city to at Italy. least in Manhattan. Man, listen, I hate to be federal, but I knew New York was doomed when I found out that niggas was making plastic guns. You mean a three D printed joint? The three D three D printed joints. Yes, yeah, that's when I yo, said, nah. You know what? You, what you? I'm mean, glad bro? I left, bro. New, bro, listen, bro. Three D printer. Is prime in this city, nigga. You talking about plastic, gun. bro? I just seen a video of a chick, and she, I don't, she might not even been in New York City specifically, but I've seen people like this, right, bro? She, the nigga went in her crib. She had a whole wall of sneakers, bro. Mad kicks, bro. Mad kicks, she mad like flavors, jays, all type of shit. He picked it up. He like, bro, what the fuck, like? He, he, I guess he realizes it's not real, but it's an exact replica. It's, it was like, bro, what? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's. Niggas you, can money make sneakers, you can make sneakers with 3D printers? I, I don't even. I bro, don't you even can make wanna, anything with a 3D printer. It's yeah, 3D. I, I, yeah. I'm not going to say, because I, I don't, you know, I've never actually you put, know, done anything. Put, put hands it. on chin. Hmm. Yes, I'm going to say, I can say, I've researched enough. You can make anything with a 3D printer. Now, it doesn't mean it's going to work the same way, obviously, but you can make, a, like say, a sneaker. If it's just for like artistic purposes, like just on a wall, you're not wearing them, mm-hmm. you can make sneakers that look like the fucking wall that niggas take, they take people on, on that complex sneaker. That show. makes you question a lot of shit niggas do on TikTok. Well, yeah. I mean, now. well, if you want to be technical, you should probably question everything, especially if you're seeing it on your phone. It don't take two seconds to just close that out real quick. Not even close it out. Move over to Google, look up some info, and then, you know. Even the content. I seen a video. I was I thought it was the funniest shit, and I realized it was fake because I seen the cut in the video. It was basically... On uh, ring camera footage is actually, I think, on the ring camera Instagram page, or maybe I forget. But basically, a nigga walked out his crib, pretended to trip, drop his beer, and like fall into his truck. And then, of course, like his wife runs out after, like, "Yo, what did you do? Damn, you wrecked your truck!" But if you watch it, the point right before he trips, there's a fucking clear cut of the video. We're not saying it's not real, but why would it be a cut there if this is a ring camera, straight, like, real thing that happened? Thinking, obviously, he set it up, and then fake fell, and his wife was in on it. It looks real if you're just watching the video and not aware of, like, yo, damn, production is a thing. And this is the minorest production ever. It's just one cut, but... If you if it's set up, you know the punchline, the setup is. I mean, the setup is real. It it draws you in, but the punchline is fake. It's like that's just that shit still works, bro. Especially nowadays. But shit, man, have y'all niggas ever thought about doing stand up comedy? Like open mic. I get told I could do that shit. Like you know, my family. Be like, oh, you're so funny. You should do stand up. But I'm like, I don't. I think I'm more funny funny with just in person uh, funny if you know me type of thing i don't I think, think I-, I think that's where stand-up comedy is the the test i look so full disclosure i don't think I've i can been, write a joke though i don't think i can write a joke it's probably just because you don't know the process of it you can write nah, a joke you could write a listen you could write a joke but <clears throat> you got to think about it like this um to be um, to be great in every facet um, of especially entertainment, like right? from sports to 
even music, all, all that shit, right? All right, let's talk specific. If you want, let's go to sports, right? All the GOAT, let's say the GOAT boxers. Who do you think they trained with to get there? Like, who do you think, you think they don't have a team? The greatest artist you ever heard, the greatest song that you've ever heard written, you think he wrote that by himself? You think that nigga came up with that entire cadence, the lyrics, the thought, the idea behind the song, the the melody, the the the, the background vocals, the little ad libs added in this specific part, the little interlude added at the end. Do you honestly think? Because realistically, if you think about it. It's like it's almost close to impossible. Yeah, especially when it works. It's like, and I'm not even saying that you 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 can't do it in one instance because, nigga, that would take away from your greatness, right? You can actually do it. You have the talent to do it, but we still need a team around us, like to make you know it work, too. to like, make it work. Yeah. Uh, facts, facts, facts. I just, I just feel like I don't know. I just, uh, I don't know. And I, and I think if I became a comedian, if I was to, you know, pursue a comedian career, I would. I'm, nigga, I would you would get, you get, you get two niggas. You get us, me, you get me and two. Put, put, put us on your team. We not, we have no, we have no fucking. We've never thought of ever being stand up comedians. You heard? But we some funny niggas. No, we have I, great thoughts. I would, I would feel you like could I be in a room and I'll you get... come up with one ass joke and you'd be like, and this ain't even, this is off the whim. This is some shit. We just kicking it. Like, you know what I'm saying? And now you like, oh shit. Nah, yeah. I could use Funny that. here. It's comedy. Say, Yo, that's that, that's where that I'm man? at right now. Like, I, I've, I've been, I've been teetering and considering doing open mics, right? Cause like, I fuck with writing. I know the process. Like, you know what I mean? Talk about the teams. Like, it's shit we say on the pod that stems. Like, the Obama bit last week, that's a good story and a good joke. But you got to really flush it out and take the time to make it a joke. You know what I mean? Jokes that we hear that comedians do, it ain't. It's like writing a song. You know what I mean? It's like yeah. getting an engineer, getting a mixer. It ain't just... The nigga just nice like that. Like it might be, but it still takes other work. You, you bro, I, I, they all funny. Like, you know what I'm saying? You funny. You know you funny, but you might not know how to put that. You not you might not know how to organize that and put that in a set yeah. to where you can, you know what I'm saying? Say that fluently on a beat. Or fuck a beat. Comedy right. is the beat is the music without the beat. You just on that's the stage saying. with a mic. But that's that's what I meant to say. Like I, I just yeah. meant that metaphorically. Oh like, word, you know, word. There's, there's no actual beat in there. You know what I'm saying? But there is a beat. Yeah, it's flow. All of that timing, all of that shit. Man. But I so basically, mm-hmm. I've I'm, I've been teetering or like you know what I mean. I've been fucking around with the idea, and I think timing people i've met at the time it it's kind of pushing me to kind of try it out i met a nigga recently just randomly never seen him before that was a you know i mean he does stand up he's like an open mic guy and i was kind of telling him like obviously like i I write raps i do this i make beats he was like yo shit kind of how i got into comedy i used to be a free i used to freestyle if you have that skill of thinking quick on your feet you can mm-hmm. you can write jokes. It just takes the knowing the structure of how there obviously you, go. you gotta build the setup, you gotta have tension or on a topic that you know what I mean mm-hmm. is some shit that people fuck with, but you take an opposite view and you bring them over. Comedy is you say some shit that people will be like, oh, but then you say the punchline and it brings them back over to you. They know you're not just some random weirdo. But a lot of comedy is they think you're a weirdo because at the front, at the beginning, if you don't have the skill, you don't really know how to structure the joke. So you're thinking you're saying shit funny and it might be, but it's not coming across that way. So you got to, you know what I mean, go back in the lab, figure out. I, I fuck. And like I said, I got 
over the years of shit that I've done through music, mind you, and content, I've gained a nice the people I fuck with. I've gained a nice little following, or not even following, but nice little network of real comedians that like are legit that I don't know personally, but they fuck with me on some part to where they might follow me on the gram. Niggas like Damian Lemon from Guy Code. Like that's I could hit that. I could hear him up and we can do shit for real. Like that's my guy. Mm-hmm. Him, fucking Shane Gillis, he's the beast for sure. Schultz. I don't Schultz don't follow me, but like his right hand man who does all his videos that kind of got him popping. Alex Media, shout out to you, Shalute. He actually from The Rock. Right. We connected. Like, you know, I mean, it's little shit. I'm I'm actually about to send him some pins. I mean, like, cause he be wearing hat fitteds and shit now on the pod. On brilliant idiots and flagrant with the hats with the I'm like, yo, let me send you some pins, gang. I mean, just building them networks, shit like that. See, now not the wait, did you want to say something? Yeah, no, no, I'm 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 done. I, I just wanted to say um I, I've also like kind of thought about doing that. Uh this this was like a, early on in my life, uh some years back. Uh People kind of put the idea in my head, you know, family, shit like that. But um, me, how I, I, and I love comedy, bro, like all types of comedy, like, I, like, nigga, you name it, like, I, bro, I'm just a goofy person, like, I, I'll, I'll laugh, you know, I'll find a joke in something. <laughs> but um, for myself, it's not that I don't have the confidence either. I just, um, stand-up comedy, for me, uh, if I was to do that, it would be very unorthodox, like Dave Chappelle's stand-ups, like, not to compare, obviously, but you see, like, how he does stand-up, where it's like, he's just sitting on a stool, he's just kind of having a conversation, like, Paul Mooney-ish, you know, like... You know what I'm saying? Uh, who else? Who else kind of does that shit? Style like I, I, I kind of feel you. I think if you say just because that's kind of how I've been thinking about it too. But when you first coming up, so my t- if I had a comedy show, right? Like if I'm at the point where I have a fan base and I would do a show, I don't think it would just be stand up. Kind of like how Lou Duvall is performing at the end of his show. Right, right. It's like it's a full show. I might have like very a fucking, unorthodox. Or I might have like a, a overhead projector with like images, you know what I mean? That's yeah. but I don't it, it's it's impossible to do some shit like that when you're just coming up as an open mic. But that's the you know what I mean that's where you can build to. Yeah, but it's cool. and also um you know, just kinda having like that, you know, because you have to do that consistently, you know what I'm saying? That's yeah. why a lot of com- Anybody, you know, you go to their shows, they have it's pretty much the same show in most ways. Mm-hmm. You know, you got to rehearse a lot and shit like that as well. But they call it working out. You got to go work it out. Right. But I don't think my discipline, I don't think I'm disciplined to the point where I'm going to, you know, like in my mind, I'm going to feel lazy. So I'm, you know, like that rep, rep, repetitive you know, constant, you know, the same, like, I'm going to be like, nah, you know, I'm going to go off the rails most times. I'm going to change mash it up. And then that comes with more, uh, you know, creativity and obviously, but I don't know, like, I just think, like you said, my mind will go completely elsewhere and this shit will end up being a fucking, a theater like you know, like yeah. some mad shit going on on stage or something. Like Beyonce coming out, like you know, <laughs> fuck? fucking bitches in tutus dancing around while I'm telling right, jokes. Yo, the Where is the stage on? show? I come out on shrooms and shit. Like you know <laughs> what I'm saying? Like you know, I'm just oh, this nigga tripping on stage. Like you know, like to me, that's hilarious. Like I haven't seen really a comedian that when you build when you with comedy when you build. And this it all starts from the first time you ever tried it, and you just kind of build up on that. Like I've seen 
like I said, we've seen, bro, we could, we've seen comedians, like, just think about Guy Code. When we would watch that, how many years late, like, or, like before, what was that, like, 20, like, 2010 type shit? Whenever yeah, that was. We've right. seen comedians from that specific, we just talking about that show. We've seen niggas from there that has made it, like, superstar level, and then niggas that just kind of just kept riding the wave of being a comedian that's work you know what i mean it's a, still a job that they make money off of and don't need no other job but it's not to the level of somebody else and it's not for one specific reason but i i know i've seen multiple niggas that have and it, i think it's just based off of the work you put in like you know what i mean right. it's having a team having niggas that you you know what i mean just help I just yeah. think I would, uh, me, spe- me personally, I would love to just, you know, act in certain things, like you know what I'm saying, like yeah, I, I think I think I work, or, or I think I think I work well, like being funny in like a movie, right? Because stand up, man, I don't know, I just feel like yeah, with I feel the, you. I feel with you. the team, it's like it can work. One hundred percent. No, yeah, hell yeah. Like, yeah, I you if you pursue that, you have all my praise, and you have I respect you to the highest degree. But I might like create a new hell level yeah. of respect because that takes a lot. Hell you know what yeah. I mean? <laughs> hey, nigga, I'm, but I still, I'm I still help out however I can. Nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I still, I saying? still, I still. You know, if you want to be to help you with a joke or something, I'm here. But yeah. I'm gonna tell you right before I give you the joke. And after I give you the joke, hey man, I don't know if this shit gonna be funny. Just try it. <laughs> now, it might not be. It might listen. It may, it may not be that that specifically what two needs. It may just be. It's just like shit music, kicking bro. It. Shit, it could, it, it could just be. Yeah, it could it's just, just be like music. It. You might okay. say a word or a sentence that sparks a whole cadence exactly. and a verse that I might have had already. And, it and was, yeah, yeah, and then it perfect, goes. Like I said, perfect example. But I, I'm legit. This is something that I'm trying to really fuck around with right now. We the this podcast is comedy, but it's not stand up. So mm-hmm. there's different elements of shit like the five guys bit earlier, the shit from last week with the Obama nigga drugs. I've have I have this written in my phone. This could turn into a joke. You like, yo, this is the setup. Yo, it's, pre- it's you know what I mean it's election time coming around. Woo, y- who y- y'all voting for? You know what I mean get the crowd to kind of whatever. And then yeah. you like, yeah, and did you ever vote before? Yeah, I voted for Obama, but I just don't think he was black enough. <laughs> and then you get into the bit of yeah, like man, I would have needed to see, and I hate to say it, like I would have needed to see this nigga get into an argument with his wife. Right. Like that's funny, but that's the setup. And yeah, then the turnaround go. is the the punchline is yeah that's why I think the first black president might have been Trump yeah that's jokes but you gotta you gotta write it in that way I'm telling you bro we yeah <laughs> I'm on it nigga yeah and and the thing even, is even, too, even down we, to the even down to the third joke we had that was some funny shit nigga yes yeah bro there you go you getting it I got, I got I, it, and like I said I have that joke written too that's a whole. That joke would be a appreciation of LGBTQ month. Not really, but that's a story you can tell within that realm of that's how the joke is set up. Now, bro, think about that, right? And think about now just you. uh, Because I'm going to just say talent, right? Because everybody don't, everybody personality is different. Right, so this is how you were born. You were born this way, nigga. Like I was a funny nigga since I was a kid. Like I don't ever remember not being funny. I'm pretty sure y'all were the same ways. So, you know, you put that in the mix of you putting together that. Mm-hmm. Now, bro, you can go wherever you want with it while you performing that. You know what I'm saying? Like that's the the beauty of, yeah. you know. Entertainment, I, you know, in in this specific conversation, in you know, space, entertainment really bust out a whole rap, nigga. Like, yeah, skill. That's the skill. And then don't I got beats, nigga? I might have a timing where it's like, yo, at the four minute mark, a beat gonna cut on. I got to make sure my joke is aligned perfectly for when this shit drop. 
And then you know, it, it's is is ways, bro. That's what, it's is is. It's, it's definitely multiple ways out here, bro. Like for sure, I've seen it. But man, shit. Yeah. Shout out to the town. Shout out to New York, man. I'm gonna be out there next week. Hey. What else we got, man? And NBA Finals. Woo. Oh. Boston kicking ass. I didn't realize. Whoa, them niggas got players over there, boy. Jeez. I, don't, I don't know if I mentioned this on a pod at some point before, the, but. I've definitely had, you know, multiple conversations with the homies and shit about this. So I felt like I've said it, but yeah, man. Um, you know, once I knew, once I seen Porzingis was going to pop up on that floor. No minute restriction. That was insane. Yo, bro. Like, bro went crazy, bro. Like I was. I never seen him play like that ever, bro. That's literally never. Like I've seen him kick ass but he was fully engaged on both ends of the floor like blocking niggas getting boards dunking on niggas he looked like he was taking a game yo he just looked like he i know it's the nba finals it was that was that was the mj cut i I took this personally he took it personal for some reason bro he was popping up on fast breaks stowing shit i'm like son what is this nigga run fast i seen a nigga i seen him block a nigga on a fast break dunk yeah by himself, like one on one, nigga. Ah, get that shit out of here! Like, whoa, bro. He literally ran the floor. I'm like, yo. First off, where the fuck this nigga came from? I'm like, this nigga just wasn't he just up the court? <laughs> nigga, just he runs fast. Yeah, no, he. Bro, that that man is insane. Like that man is insane when he plays. Like I know he was cooking on some when at the beginning of the season when he was playing. He was balling. He was, he was balling. wilding. He was bugging the fuck out. So it was just crazy because I, you know, I, I just did the math. You know, it's all about matchups. And uh, Luca and Kyrie alone is not enough to beat a team of niggas that could cook your ass. Not not with Porzingis being there. I feel like if Porzingis didn't play, they had a way. My nigga, play. Al Horford was in the game before Porzingis got in there. And you know what Al Horford was doing? Blocking Luca. That's true. He didn't even start. That's right. Bro, I seen that nigga switch on Luca on the pick and roll. And you know when Luca get that switch on the pick and roll, he's unguardable. That nigga did some slow shit. And switch back, step back, put it behind his head, pulled that shit. That nigga Horford blocked that shit, man. Yeah. Horford, shout out to Horford, man. Dominican Ma- 38. Poppy. Yeah, that he's nigga been in the league cooking niggas for years. He, he lost to LeBron so many times. That nigga knows... What he got to do, bro? He plays his role very well. He I would be happy to see points. him. I would happy to see him get a ring. Yes, the way I've seen the people, the way I seen are, Boston put put ass the belt the other night. The niggas might zip them boys up, man. Ah, sweep. It's very possible. Sweep, but it's, it's, possible. it's very possible. It's possible. If, now. if Dallas, listen, if Dallas don't win this game while they in Boston, because Boston are at their weakest point when they home. The stats say say this. Uh, Statistically, they're like maybe like a bet, couple bet games over five hundred at home. Yeah, yeah, they they that's crazy. They they will cook you in your home. Yeah, that's uncommon. Word. Jason Tatum dropped sixteen points in game one. That's all I gotta say. Yeah, like Jaylen I know Brown niggas were like saying over some shit. Yeah, I know niggas were saying Porzingis he can't keep doing that. And I said, hey, listen, bro. First off, I only need Porzingis at fifty percent. 50% means you stand out there on offense. When I pass you the ball, you shoot it. Whether you miss or not, that's a threat. Yeah. On defense, you guard the paint. You ain't even got to jump that much. Just just put your hands up. Standing You're 7-3. The word. That's it. That, he's a presence. It's over. Like, they scared of that nigga, bro. When he switch in front of them, like, they be like, they look shaky. And I'm like, nah, that, that nigga is a tall-ass dude, man. For real, bro. Yeah, I think they're gonna sweep them niggas, man. I, I don't. I hope not, cause shit, bro. Listen, like I said, if they don't win game two, this series might be over. Yeah, if Dallas don't Whether win next game sweep one, or not, they, it's they not play Sunday, right? They play, they play tomorrow, right? Yeah, it's over. If they don't, they if they lose tomorrow, 
They're getting four mm-hmm. old out the building. I'm gonna be. I'm actually be in NY for some of these games. If if it, if Dallas win one, they gotta nah. at least go to get a game five for nah, me. To by be the time you get to NY. New York, nigga, there's be some champion. Be it's some over. It's a fucking it's championship. Yep. yep. Nah, that would be so. You can't insane get swept in the playoffs and the finals. Push it past bro. Four. Yeah, if they can't push it past four, I don't get me wrong. I don't have faith in Boston. Like, I'm not a fucking Boston Celtics fan at all. I actually don't like any Boston team in any sport. Like, I've never been a fan of any Boston team. So, you know, uh, it's just like we talking ball, man. Like, what the fuck? Jason Tatum didn't even give you 30 points this game. Luca had 30 and 10. He shot like 26 shots. They switch on everything on defense. What preparation can you do for that? You're gonna make you're gonna line somebody in a certain spot so you can get a pick and but that's what is that gonna do if they still all switching? What who are you looking for to guard you? Oh, so game four is on Friday, the fourteenth. So I'm gonna definitely be out there. That's my, that's my second day out. You said game four is on the fourteenth. Yeah, so if if they get swept, it will be that game. Definitely gonna find a little spot. Me and my shorty got a little itinerary already. We get there Thursday. Got some shit Friday. Yeah, stay stay at a hotel. Yeah, we seen out of this hotel near like uh, 50th Street near the MoMA. Okay. Nice little, nice little spot. Nice. Okay. Let me just stay in my hand. Yeah, I mean shit. Apparently that shit don't mean anything no more though. Nah, uh, Manhattan is still a safe ground. Allegedly, it's safer than everywhere else, but it's not. It's safe, but shit could still go down. Basically, yeah, shit could go down, but it's it's least likely to happen in Manhattan. Yeah, I mean, where we at? Like shit. I mean, you know how we, how I remove. Like I ain't, I ain't no fool, fool nigga. Like I'm a. We either jumping in an Uber, or we going straight to the train, and niggas is aware of everything at every moment. Shit gonna be cool though, man. I'm excited. My niece is graduating fucking junior high. She just went to prom. It's crazy. She's getting older, man. Motherfuckers is growing up. Y'all got anything else, man? I mean, Pharrell. Shout out to Pharrell. Y'all seen the uh the the trailer for that Lego movie piece by piece? Shit look fire. Yeah, I'm interested. I'm very interested. I I'm, I'm interested. I heard Bad Boys 4 was fucking peak. I didn't see the last one, so last one was okay, but I heard this one was really good. Yeah, yeah, I heard this one was really good. R.I.P. Man, are we? Oh man, R.I.P. The Red Lobster, man. I might go there today and get some food, man. I've still never had lobster ever, bro. I might have to go cops before they go out of business. Obviously, I can get it somewhere else, but I feel like Red Lobster is the place that you should try lobster for the first time, man. Cheddar biscuits. We going. We there's no more cheddar biscuits, bro. You think they gonna still sell? You know, because they sell like frozen cheddar biscuits at like a Walmart. Is if Red Lobster goes bankrupt and out of business, is that? Yeah, that's that. That's that stepped on though. Yeah, this stepped on for sure. Come on, it's frozen, man. That's that stepped on. That ain't stepped that on, work. but it still work. You know what I mean? Ain't ain't that real work, my nigga? You know what I mean? Yeah, no, I feel that, man. Damn. What else, Shaggy? Y'all got anything else before we get up out of here for the people then, man? Uh, Kingdom Hearts 2026. I know. I know. I know. Oh, that's next year. Oh, fuck you. (laughs) Fuck you. Okay? (laughs) Fuck you. It's not right there. It's next year, bro. That's right there, man. Oh, man. Jesus fucking Christ, bro. I mean, Summer's Game Fest was yesterday, and it was fucking lackluster as fuck. I don't know what crack kind of crack Jeff Keeley was doing with this fucking. This was this was arguably the worst. Like I can't believe we lost E three to this shit. Mm. Like this is fucking. This is madness. After yesterday, I went to sleep during a game show, bro. I went to sleep. It was so fucking boring. Damn. It was trailers for games we already had saw. I'm I'm already going to get Space Marine 2 day one. It looks amazing. I'm already going to get Black Wukong August 20th. That looks amazing. We seen it. Show us some new shit, man. And you know what, game developers? Just hold out to the summertime to show your games. 
Stop releasing trailers for video games on a random fucking Tuesday, bro. It, it's not helping mm-hmm. because now, now we get summer game fest shit like this. There's nothing to be shown because everything's already fucking shown. I mean, that's tough, bro. You gotta think about it. It's tough in the age that we live in now. Social media, you gotta kind of if you have any like if you put something out there like a teaser, people are gonna be expecting it. So you, it's it's probably hard to wait until an event like this when, especially when you know back in the days how it would be successful back then. That was the only time you could see it. Now nah, niggas could just have an Instagram page and drop some shit. I know, it's man. tough, but I, I feel I agree with you, but I just think it's a lot tougher for niggas that's trying to be a new developer to just wait for this. Because like you said, what if the views ain't there? Like, if it's trash, how do you even know they're going to get to our game and be stick, stuck around still and watch? It's tough. It ain't tough, but you got to have a fucking plan to do it. I don't want to say nothing is tough because it's kind of easier now. You just got to have the ability to do that <laughs> shit and have the plan. Okay, it's just like, I don't I, I don't know. Can you, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Oh, it's just like, uh, I don't know. I, I just feel like in the, when I, and the Kingdom Hearts new came from a, a verified leaker who was, who's been on point with his leaks. He's been very... He's been on point with his shit. Verified leaker just sounds crazy. Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's been on point with his shit. And I don't know. It's just weird that you show us a trailer in 2022. And yeah, I understand they switched it. Because the trailer from Kingdom Hearts 4 is on Unreal Engine 4. And they switched it. Like like a month later after they showed the trailer, they said they're switching to Unreal Engine 5. So Mm. it's a whole... They're just redoing everything, I guess. I don't know. But 2026 sounds crazy. But it's next if, year, man. If you are a game, a game does. Uh, if you are making a game, uh, listen. Grand Theft Auto Five Six is next year's game. <laughs> I I think that no matter, it's like it's kind of smart not to drop. If, there should be no games coming out next year, but Grand Theft Auto Six. I mean, it's, it's coming out late in the year, so you can get some shit off early in the year. Yeah, but it's not gonna. It's not gonna do much. Shit, I would fuck that. If I, can, if I can have a game, imagine, because it's like you can be in that same, obviously Grand Theft Auto is going to be the award winning number one, but if you can still be in the sentence, think about it, like, let's no, no. say. I, now that you say that, I do agree, because. Wait, let me get I, let me get my point. My point uh-huh. was Blueprint dropped on 9-11, Ghetto Fab also dropped on 9-11. Them albums are nowhere near as good as each other. Obviously Blueprint wins, but Fab still is in that combo just because he dropped that day. So dropping the same year, I'm like shit. Hindsight might be better. I, I feel like it's actually smarter to drop next year than it is to drop in 2026. Because if Grand Theft Auto Six, when Grand Theft Auto Six comes out at the end of next year, it's gonna stop your. It's gonna stop. King, it's gonna stop Kingdom Hearts Four. Like if and I, I know Nomura. I've known Nomura for. A very long time. I don't know him personally, but I've known his way of releasing these fucking games. And he's going to release Kingdom Hearts 4 January or February of 2026. And you're a fucking fool to do that. You're a fool. Because of the fact that nobody's going to... I mean, I'm going to fucking pay attention. I'm going to drop Grand Theft Auto 6 for how many weeks it takes me to beat Kingdom Hearts 4. But a lot of people aren't. Grand Theft Auto 6, they just been waiting for Grand Theft Auto 6 since yeah, almost a decade. My nigga. It's like it is the biggest game. Grand Theft Auto 6, we can say, is the most anticipated game of all time. Yeah. I think just, we can just say Grand Theft Auto itself. Like they done built themselves up from the beginning to where it is now. Like they but that goes to show, but but it also is because of the fact that Grand Theft Auto Five is such a good game. I could yeah. put on Grand Theft Auto Five right now and have a blast. Yeah, because they built it up to that, bro. Like, and then yeah. you got the modded version, which everybody don't even have access to. But even if you play the regular shit, you still have just as much fun. Right. Exactly. So you do have to play with other people, though. You can't play that shit by yourself. Ah, uh, you can't play that shit by yourself. You can't. Excuse me. You can, but it doesn't last that long. 
Touche, I get that. Talk about that. Like, no game really lasts that long when you play by yourself. Unless it's a, a adventure yeah. game. A, a unless game. it's NCAA College 24 and 25. No, unless it's, unless it's a, a, a game that has a, it's a story-driven game. You can play it by yourself. Yeah, yeah, Zelda. I mean, unless it's that. It, yeah, with, yeah. With if online, online games, based, like, yeah. You know, like, you have to play that shit online with your friends. Anything that's like, you know what I'm saying? It's, I don't know. It's, Crash Bandicoot lasted a long time in my life. Yeah, see, that don't count because I'm like, you don't have any other option to play that shit by yourself. There's no two player online. Oh, okay, okay. I see what you're saying. You only can right. play it by yourself. See, like a Zelda, like, yeah, I'm I'm hooked on Zelda right now, but you're some shit like GTA? Yeah, like, yeah, shit, yeah. nigga. Shit. Yo, I'll be saying that now, like, bro, just make every game fucking cross-play, super online, multiplayer, open world, like, I still bro. don't understand why games ain't like that, bro. Like, Zelda, I should be able to play this and then jump into an online where because the map in Zelda is in fucking insane, bro. Like you got th- you got three huge maps. You got the Sky Realm, you have the regular realm, and then you have the depths. And they're all just as big. Pause. Like you explore all. It's and you it's not like no, you look at the map and you got shortcut is nah, you gotta either walk that shit or be on a horse, nigga. It ain't no just you can just get there by traveling. You can only travel there once you find a shrine in that area, and then you can quick travel. But yeah, shout out, shout out to the RPG games, man. Shout out to gaming. I just, uh, I just, I don't know, man. I just, I'm, I'm feeling, feel, feeling really like down on the gaming industry. I, I, you know what? I'm not, I'm not gonna say that because again, just stop releasing. Just wait for the summertime to show, show us what you got, man. And we have a whole bunch of other gaming, you know, showcases this week. But my, Jeff Keighley, if you ain't got nothing substantial, and then he had the nerve to put a poll out on Twitter today, like how was the showcase? D was the obvious answer. Everybody picked D because it's fucking ass. It's it's ridiculous. It was, the show was fucking ridiculous. Even though we got Phantom Blade, we got a trailer for Phantom Blade, which was already shown. But Phantom Blade looks phenomenal. We actually seen like gameplay, a UI. In gameplay mode, it looks phenomenal. That shit is like a fucking movie. That it's like Black Wukong. It's more Black Wukong than Black Wukong. Hmm. Okay. You remember how I showed y'all that shit? Y'all was like, "Whoa!" But that Phantom Blade shit, nigga, that shit is like the choreograph of the fight when you're playing. It's like a fucking movie, bro. It's like, like, I like, even like, like an anime. You're playing an anime in the sense of. The sword battling with the enemy, like you're not you, you're not your your character. You doing wild shit. The enemy is blocking the wild shit. Like you, it's like a real anime. It's just crazy. It's ridiculous. The game looks phenomenal. But we seen the game. We knew the game was going to be phenomenal off the first trailer. You know, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I just, I just want Grand Theft Auto and Kingdom Hearts Four. At this point, that's that's all. That's all I give a fuck about. I don't care about nothing else. I don't care. I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn about these indie, these independent games. You motherfuckers is made. I don't care. They did a a, a power in this game that was reminiscent of the old night uh, beat 'em up, walk around beat 'em up style games that you play with your homies, like the, the, teenage, the teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle games yeah, and all that. Yeah, Streets of Rage and shit. Yeah, that shit looks cool. But I mean, it's like, nigga, no. It looks <laughs> cool, nigga, no. What I am interested in, though, I need an update on Sega about all the fucking remasters they're doing. What's up with that? Jet Set Radio and fucking... What's up? What's up? I don't know, man. It's just, gaming is Gaming is crazy right now. Um, oh, how could I fucking forget this? The biggest fucking announcement that fucking... That, 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 yesterday was fucking Terry Bogars and Street Fighter Six. Oh shit, for real? My nigga. Street Fighter 6 is the one that came out already? Yeah. Oh, so he's like a downloadable character? Yeah, he's gonna come out this this fall. They they announced M. Bison and they changed M. Bison's whole like fucking look. He has like a, he wears like a fucking scarf over his fucking body with like he has like long white hair and he has on gloves. Mm-hmm. He's like, like an old M. Bison? Huh? Well he's like an older M. Bison or something? Yeah, because in Street Fighter 5 he died. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So he's he's like back to life. He's like resurrected. 
But then watching out- these Saturday morning cartoon streams and shit, Street Fighter. I forgot they had a Street Fighter show. I don't think I ever watched it as a kid. Nigga, they, had a, they, had a, they had a huge renaissance of Capcom shows uh, in the early 2000s. They had a Mega Man show. And they had a this Street Fighter show. This is early 2000s? Yeah, this is early 2000s. This has become on ABC Family. Yeah, I just know. Yeah, yeah, it was it was kind of wild. Yeah, Spider Man, fucking Sonic. Yeah, Sonic. Sonic had two. Sonic had the show with Sonic and his brothers and sisters, and he had Sonic X. Just fire shit. Yeah, Sonic X was dope. Sonic X was really dope. I like Sonic. X, Sonic X was my the Sonic Adventure. It was it was right off the hype of Sonic Adventure. Um, but yeah, nah, Terry Bogards in Street Fighter Six like that. That's like crazy. Like Street Fighter has never done guest characters. Outside of Capcom's properties, yeah, like Street Fighter fine. Five, Death character was a care from Rival Schools, the bitch with the with the motorcycle jacket and shit like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this is like this is this is SNK. This is like a whole different. This is this is major. This is like Super Smash Brothers for having my nigga Terry in there. Yeah, nigga punched the shit out of you with a red denim jacket on. <laughs> <He's> <laughs> cut off. <laughs> yeah, that's right. He is. He is an, he, so you can actually have that that Super Smash Brothers fight now with Ryu. Yeah. You can oh, have Ryu. Yeah. And, yeah, you can have that now. And, I, I'm, and they have it. Maya. I don't know if you know who Maya is. Maya is the big titty chick from Fatal Fury with the um with the fan. Oh yeah, with, she, with the bat wings. Is that or is that different game? Different game. She has big titties and she wears a fan and she has like a dress on. She has the biggest titties in gaming history. Hmm. Yeah, but um, yeah, Tony the Bogart's games, it. man. Yeah, it's Terry Bogard's Street Fighter Six. It's kind of crazy. That's that's like some crazy shit. For Terry Capcom. Bogard might be one of the most fire names too. Yeah, not nah, fact. That's a fire name. That is a fact. Terry Bogard. That's that's he. Yeah, yeah. Gaiza. I forgot you said shit. How you say it? It's such a move. Forgot that shit. Hey man, y'all got anything else? Um. Oh, Falcon Zero. I don't know if you niggas seen that new Dragon Ball game. They got new updates. Uh, it's you, you niggas played the Tenkaichi Budokai series, right? Of course, man. Of course. Nigga, Falcon Zero is the new one. The ten, it's, it's 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 basically Tenkaichi Four. October eleventh is dropping. Yes, it is, and they have this thing where now you have what if stories. So like, like you have a story mode, but it's what if stories. So like, let's say if Goku and Piccolo never went to fight Raditz, it was just Piccolo and Krillin. Ew, niggas really got their ass kicked. Or Goku turned Super Saiyan during the Vegeta fight. Mm. Cell dies from a, fi- a father and son final flash from Vegeta and Trunks. So you get to play these storylines out? You get to choose. Would you, would you want to follow that storyline or you want to make your own? I'm interested in that. That sounds pretty cool. I that sounds want peak. to hear a little bit more. That's the, I think I would... Peak? Keep- that's I think it's I think I would keep certain storylines the way they are though because I don't I don't feel right having Krillin and Pickle. I mean it, it is kind of like uh if if Goku and let's say Goku and Krillin was to go fight Raditz right I think that would like if that was to happen like the real anime that would have been like a full circle moment just from Dragon Ball itself because we've never seen Goku and Krillin actually kick a nigga's ass together before. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that, that kind of would have been like a full circle mode from Dragon Ball. Um, But anything else, like, I, when I saw the trailer, I'm like, that's cool, you know, like, Goku's on Super Saiyan on, 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 on Earth when with free, when he was fighting Vegeta. But that still is, is weird, though. It's weird. I'm not. I'm just a Dragon Ball purist like that. That's weird. Speaking about Peak. Peak? Tariq Coleon? Tariq Coleon is back, and let me tell you something, okay? Don't spoil it. Please don't spoil it. I haven't I'm not going to spoil it. I'm but not going to spoil it. Peak is back? Peak <laughs> is back. That shit was Yo. better. Than, that shit was better than the entire season of BMF. Man, I'm excited. I'm just excited for you. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> I'm ready <laughs> next week, nigga. We going to talk. <laughs> nigga. Big Rich Town. Bro, that <laughs> nigga. Listen, over. let me say, man. Let me say, man. He's back as Coleon, man. He's back. And like, Tariq? one episode, I'm like, Coleon's back, man. He's back, <laughs> man. I almost said a tear, man. Tariq Coleon, man. You letting his gun go. Hey. 
Finally. Letting his gun go, man. He letting his gun go. The last season, hey. He he letting his gun go, man. I'm about to tune. I'm about to tune in today for sure. I forgot. Yeah, nah, he's letting his gun go for real. He's letting his gun go, my nigga, for real. And and I mean, and, he, he did shoot his pups. Nah, but he letting his he gun go. Shit, man, reluctantly. Yeah, he, he letting Bro, his gun. What? He was scared. He was, he was scared a little after nigga. He was he, what? I know you son. He was a he was little scared. nigga, and he killed his pops. He was scared that he caught the body. He was scared that he caught the body. He was scared. Who now, cares? Who but cares now, if he listen. was scared? He killed his pops. The streets care, man. Listen. It listen. was his pops. What are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> no, what? Listen, he, didn't man. Shoot, he didn't shoot some random nigga that had problems with the we family. Understand. Like, we, understand, like, we understand the cult. We understand his mindset. You know oh, I mean? my God. Now, let me tell you something, drugs. That nigga's ruthless, man. That nigga's oh, he's, badass. Oh, man. oh, he's ruthless we, now. We gotta, oh, okay, okay. we gotta, we gotta right. have. I'm the, excited, man. I'm we excited. gotta have, That's we gotta have the conversation about. Nah, the yeah, most, yeah, we, bro. We gonna have bad conversations. No, man. no, about like, the most <laughs> gangster nigga on screen, man. It's going between between Scarface, oh. Michael Colleon, Tyreek Colleon. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. You heard? Oh no. Um, who else? Chris from The Wire. I think he's out. Chris and Chris right now. Crazy Chris. I think he got Chris wrapped up right now. Yo, comparing comparing this nigga to anybody on the wire is cr- just be just for me like recapping the like rebinging the wire right now. I'm currently like uh towards uh I'm getting towards the end of the season four. That's that's just it's just hilarious. Like because you I'm I'm not even gonna say you, but Anybody hearing this and have watched The Wire and maybe watched this version of Power, you can, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, it's not, like, it's not even close. Like, Listen, man. The, the, Listen, like, man. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Let me tell you something, man. Chris was hot in them bodies in them vacants, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> right? Tariq ain't hot in no bodies, nigga. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yo, bro. I, do, yo, son. I, I swear, the last season that I had seen, bro, like killed some. Like he walked through like, like a very luxurious built. Yo, yo, didn't Brenton throw his uncle off a building? Yeah. Like in broad daylight, like yeah, in a luxurious. Yeah, yeah. like yeah. I've watched these niggas. Walk through luxurious buildings and commit crimes, and then leave the. They never showed him leaving the building, though. Like they never show. They only show this nigga pulling. That means they did a good job. If if you ain't seen him leave the building, that means they did a good job, man. Yo, we gotta get rid of this body, yo. (laughs) I mean, Chris was hot in them bodies, man. Chris got he got caught up. But that that detective was that black detective on the white was good as fuck. He was like, he hot in the bodies in here. They ain't here. This is a older nigga. Yeah, he said this is a tomb. Forget that nigga name. Man. They would have to kill him. Name? I forgot that nigga name too. That was the old nigga that was fucking the, the stripper. He ended up fucking with the stripper at the end of the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, shout out to that show. They got, you know, what I mean, my man from the show is in in Chicago PD. A lot of people from that show was in spinoffs. Mad. You know what I mean? It's mad. Sissy from Snowfall. She's in that shit. That's Avon's sister. Mad shows. You know what I'm saying? Mad shit. Shout out to them niggas getting money, man. Yeah, shout yeah, out to mean, shout out to them niggas getting money. All man. of all of these shows that Fifty produce, if you if you watch them, like there's mad people from the earlier shows that yeah, we black with. culture. He kept it black. It's it's literally mad people. Oh yeah, it's like Chris in the last episode. Season, Chris was in the last season of Power. Shout out. Mm-hmm. Crazy Chris was definitely in the last season of Power. He was the the African nigga. Oh yeah, nigga. yeah. The the, the, tr- the nigga with the where they met with Tariq was like the <laughs> the um the, it, the with the Italian niggas or some shit. He had him on a team to help. Yeah, him. yeah, yeah. Yeah, shout out to Crazy Chris. You know what I'm saying? He not that crazy no more. Yeah, he know he got his shit together. <laughs> he got his shit together. Right. Shout Cracking out, the '80s, man. Shout out! Shout out to to my people watching the show right now too. Um, one of the shows, you know, I've been kind of. Yo, is there any BDs or GDs on that show? Um, <clears throat> they do got some some it's people the, from Chicago PD it's on the, that shit. Yeah, nah, vice it's, versa. That's another show, bro. It's another one of them black shows that you know they 
got a lot of people employed. Like I seen, they got Tony in that show from Girls. No, I'm saying in, in the show, in Chicago itself, is there any gang violence? Yeah, there's a lot oh, of gang yeah. violence. That's basically it's majority the gang the violence. It's not. It's disguised by like they don't scream out specific gangs. Like that's what is, is the show about gang violence. Not about gang violence, nah, but the show's indirectly. About life. Yeah. It's about the city the of Chicago. About them niggas growing up in Chicago. That's that's oh, what the, so so from yeah, jump, it's gang like, violence, but it's not one. about that though. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about right. that. Yeah, nigga, I, I, Chicago I, I, is not yeah. bro, Chicago is one of the most cultural fucking cities. Are you serious? I'm not interested. They're, they're, they're I want to see more than just fucking gangs, bro. Like, the it's like, the, it's, it's the, like the bear. It's like the, the bear. Street, the streets need a body. About a exactly, exactly. It's like literally like the bear. Ain't, the, wasn't Shameless in Chicago? Yeah, all the, the shit, bro. The like, streets bro, need bro, a body. About? <laughs> I want to see niggas die. I'm looking for violence. You gotta, you gotta, yeah, you gotta watch. You gotta watch Power Gang. Yeah, that's yeah, that's it. I mean, that's they killing niggas in the shot too. Like that's. Yeah, Obviously, but it ain't, that's what it ain't, there's no Tyreek Cole the owner in Chicago. Yeah, there's no he's repetitive. Only it's Kevin. Yeah, you're not seeing the same repetitive find a new plug and go kill a plug and then yeah, it's not the same. Oh, then it's not yeah. realistic then. <laughs> yeah, no, it's very fake. We've seen Kevin grow up throughout the shot. Nigga was a little ass boy to start the show. Is he shooting niggas? Is he robbing niggas? No, that man. No, he's a regular no. nigga from Chicago. He ain't Bro. watching that. I don't want to see no regular nigga watch that, nah, man. <laughs> I'm good, man. Yeah, bro. I, I think, I think, yeah. You, you should, you should stay watching that show, bro. That's, yeah, that's I'm gonna stay show. watching. I'm gonna stay watching my ignorant yeah, shit, yeah, man. Yeah. I'm trying to see a nigga get his shit pushed back. Oh, he yeah, killed yeah. that nigga. Oh shit, say. As I, I need to as I boxes. said before, I don't want to see know, a nigga. There's, go a, to there's a lot more to a show than a nigga just dying on screen. <laughs> I, I want to see a nigga going to school. They, they do go to school a lot in the shot. I, I know. I seen, I seen a few. <laughs> I see that. I don't want to see a nigga go to school, my nigga. I've been to school, my nigga. The shit ain't what it's cracked up to be, my nigga. I'm good, my nigga. This, bro, Tariq goes to class every episode. Nah, he ain't in school, no school no more, nigga. Yo, what the fuck are you niggas talking about? Yo, 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 seriously, seriously. What are you niggas talking out, about? Bro. He, he got, got kicked, kicked out, out for selling drugs, nigga. What's Tariq on a campus every single... What are we talking about? He got kicked out. Niggas is fighting. Yo, niggas is fighting to stay in school every episode. This nigga is giving this girl money to stay... Yo, bro, what are y'all talking about? What are y'all really kicked, talking about? He got kicked the show out, is basically yo. This show is not even too far from the fucking shot. To be realistic, actually, like what? What the hell, bro? It's literally Tariq, the same shit. It's Tariq literally ain't been the same a, shit. Tariq actually. ain't been in school in like two seasons, man. <laughs> These black shows. <laughs> he got kicked out that shit, man, for being a real nigga, man. <laughs> What are we talking about here, man? That nigga is in the shots, going to school, having crushes on bitches. Nah, Tariq is out there selling drugs, I nigga. Fuck, I don't fuck that Tariq get kicked out of school when he was just in class last season. I'm so confused. What what specific episode? Nah, he are wasn't you in class. He was in the building. He was in the building. building. Oh, oh, so he's just allowed in the building. Yeah, Bro, y'all niggas is insane. He got loopholes. Right? Patrick, he got loopholes. Yo, nigga. shout out to the fans of the crack proc. You know what I'm saying? Crack rock law familiar, baby. Yeah, y'all niggas, school, I know man. y'all niggas is entertained right now. This is hilarious. Out, you know what I'm saying? Everybody who fuck with, you know what I'm saying, all the black shows and shit like that, shout out to y'all for sure. Shout hey, out to the man. white shows the season too, is man. back, baby. Yeah, the, the greatest... Listen, man, this season is shaping up to be one of the best seasons. <laughs> like, it's... It's looking Yo, this like stop, I'm not this going stop, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm not last going season live, was the goat season, so you you I'm might you gotta live, chill man. and wait to the all the seasons. So why is season four got competition, bro? Just wait until the show actually ends, so you can see what season. If Ghost comes, this is the ten year anniversary. If Ghost come back, we gotta have the discussion of the greatest season in television history. That's oh, not happening, but sure. To, oh, to this season. Yeah, it's the ten year anniversary. It's not happening, but sure. I mean, I'm pretty sure you're gonna get the other characters. You might see Tommy and the niggas. If Ghost come back, what happens, man? I don't know, nigga. You would have to. I don't know. How would you? How would you think that would happen? I think, nigga, it might be a parade outside in the streets, nigga. No, I'm saying, how do you think that would happen in the show? He never died, nigga. He's Ghost, nigga. That's it. That would be corny as hell if that's what they did. Like, yo, he just, nah, he just I, I, get, 
I get, I get, because that's the purpose of the show. Like they tried to leave them because they, uh, you never really know what's gonna happen in real life. Obviously, it didn't work out probably contract wise, whatever it yeah. was. But they left that window open. Like that's you, you have to do that when you write in the show. I think that's the best way to do it, unless it's concrete that you don't want this character coming back. Ghost made the show, in my opinion. So. You know, it's, it's it kind of makes sense to me in the writing to leave some type of, you know, possibility in your imagination. Being a fan of the show, like, yo, this nigga, you know, maybe he can come back. Like, yo, he never killed him. Like, you know, something happened. Like, you know, he dreamt that, like, something. Like, but I do think if Ghost came back, as I said before, nigga, that would be insane for, you know, everybody who, you know, is tuned in, loves the show and shit like that. Like, nigga, that, that shit would go crazy, bro. Like, in my opinion, but I, I, I would hope that they could bring that nigga back. Like, because honestly, that's when I really enjoyed that show. Like, I, like you couldn't tell me shit. Like, I was <laughs> a super fan, bro. Yeah, Amari did his thing, man. Hey man, and I'm a I, super fan of Amari now. Like that nigga is. Now nah, he's elite. He's elite. He's elite. He's elite. He's definitely elite. He's definitely elite. He's definitely elite. Um, but Tariq is like a whole nother animal, man. And just like that, <laughs> <laughs> this has been episode one thirteen of the Crack in the Head. <laughs> 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 I love when y'all niggas get quiet after my wild takes. <laughs>